For thousands of years, the jagged rocks of a submerged mountain range about 80 miles off the coast of Gloucester have preserved among the Gulf of Maine's most distinct habitats. Its frigid waters home to a large billowy kelp forest, glacier-sculpted peaks that near the surface, and an abundant array of life. The uneven bottom and swirling currents that course through Cash's Ledge have long made trawling in the area a challenge. But for many years, fishermen have combed the muddy basins on the periphery and brought home massive hauls of cod, pollock, and other ground fish. Twelve years ago, in an effort to bolster declining fish stocks throughout the region, regulators cordoned off 550 square miles around Cash's Ledge, prohibiting trawling in the area. Now, with fishermen herding from strict quotas to prevent overfishing, the New England Fishery Management Council is considering reopening the area to trawlers. The prospect of a new fleet casting their nets along Cash's Ledge, even if they avoid the most sensitive areas, has infuriated environmental advocates. But fishermen argue that the closure is no longer necessary. They say a quota system introduced since the closure took effect, which caps the amount of a species that a fisherman can catch every year, makes the ban on trawling moot as a way to protect the overall number of ground fish. They also argue that by allowing their boats in an area that has traditionally had ample amounts of cod and pollock, they would spend less time raking the seabed with their dredges and nets. Speeding up their catch would also mean burning less fuel and improving their bottom line.